The Range Rover Evoque is a compact luxury crossover SUV with seating for five passengers and was produced by the British auto manufacturer Land Rover. The Evoque was first produced in July 2011 in the three and five door version with both two wheel and four wheel drive. For 2015, the Range Rover Evoque comes in five different trims level, starting out with the base model, which is Pier. Next up is Pier Plus, Pier Premium, Pristic, and last, the dynamic version. The one I have here today comes with the Pristic Premium Package, which comes standard with new 19-inch 10-spoke alloy wheels. But as you can see, this one comes upgraded with 20-inch fork vibration polished wheel. Some other standard features include advanced park assist with perpendicular park, premium Oxford leather upholstery with twin needle stitching on seat, fixed panoramic sunroof with power blinds, front fog lights, adaptive xenon headlamp with LED signature daytime running lamps, meridian surround sound system, as well as many other features. The Evoque feature a very modern and distinctive design. The rising belt line gives the Ranch Rover a capable and athletic appearance. Better yet, it is more than just a pretty face. The Evoque is capable in challenging situations. It can easily tackle all terrain and weather conditions with confidence. Up front, you quickly notice the front lightning that adds much of a thoughtful touches to the Evoque. Innovative Xenon lightning with LED signature daytime running lights blaze a clear trail in all weather conditions and add to the vehicle dramatic presence and look. High intensity retractable headlight washer and park assist are also integrated into the front bumper. LED fog lights are also come standard on this model. And there you can see the front surround cameras located at the bottom, one on each side. And a closer look at the Evoque grill with Land Rover badging on it. Intermittent rain sensing windshield wipers are also one of the standard features. So as I mentioned earlier, this particular model comes upgraded with 20 inch fork vibration polished wheel with 245 45 continental tires. Behind the wheel is the set of power assisted four wheel internally ventilated brake discs, as well as the brake caliber painted in silver. The specific Range Rover Evoque fender, body color side view mirror with integrated LED turn signal indicator. Side cameras are also built into the side view mirror. On top is the huge fixed panoramic roof that offer both the front and the rear passengers a sweeping skyward view. Rear wheels are also 20 inches. Behind the rear wheel you also find the internally ventilated brake disc as well as the silver brake caliber. It also comes with all-terrain anti-lock braking system, dynamic stability control, road stability control, electronic brake force distribution, cornering brake and heel descent control, emergency brake assist, trailer stability assist, as well as heel start assist, all of those which give the Evoque the ability to tackle all-terrain. To the back, you also notice the unique and stylish tail light with shiny black bezel, Tail light also comes with integrated LED brake light as well as turn signal light. At the bottom is the silver rear diffuser as well as the dual chrome tip exhaust. Rear deflectors and park assist are also integrated into the rear bumper. And there's the rear view camera which will activate once the vehicle is in reverse. On top is the roof spoiler with integrated third LED brake light. Okay, so here I have the remote with Range Rover layering on each side of the remote. On the remote I have the lock, unlock, light on and off, trunk release, as well as panic button. Now to turn on the light just press the light button once and press it once again to turn off. Now let's open it up and check out the interior. The car does come equipped with Smart Access Key System, so with the key in your pocket, press the button located on the door handle once to lock. After a few seconds, 
Place your hand behind the door handle to unlock. The exterior color is known as Aintree Green, a very unique color, featuring a tan, ivory, and special pristic leather interior with beautiful dark wood trims and silver aluminum trims throughout, and double white accent stitching on the seat. Very modern looking interior. Now let's jump into the driver's seat, start it up and see how it sounds. So with your foot on the brake, push the start button to start. And one thing I like to show you, which I think is very cool. Now once you turn off the engine, the gear rotation knob will blend in evenly with the uh, center console and once you turn it back on, it will rise up. Now let's pop the hood and see what the 2015 Range Rover Evoque have to offer. Under the hood is a 2 liter turbocharged 4 cylinder direct fuel injection engine with twin variable valve timing. 9-speed automatic transmission with steering wheel mounted paddle shifter with normal, sport and manual shift mode, all-wheel drive with active drive line and traction control, electronic rear differential and active torque biasing and torque vectoring by braking, pushing out 240 horsepower and 250 pound-feet of torque, can hit from 0 to 60 in 7.1 seconds. Top speed is electronically limited at 135 miles per hour in the US. EPA estimated fuel economy is 21 city, 30 highway, and 24 combined. Very impressive. Now let's shut it down and take a detailed look at the interior. Here is a look at the driver's side door panel with a special leather in the uh, middle section and double white contrast stitching all windows are fully automatic and there you have the uh, side view mirror control it does feature folded option there's the lock and unlock three position memory seating meridian surround sound speaker and there's the storage compartment on the door panel. Range Rover aluminum door seal. And there's the pedal. And here is a closer look at the seat. It is perforated and does offer heated options. Very nice looking uh, leather upholstery. Now both front seats offer 8-way power adjustable front seat. Driver seat memory recall 3 store position for the seat. Steering wheel as well as outside mirror. The 4-spoke design steering wheel is fully wrapped in leather. With silver accenting in the middle. Looks and feel very nice. Featuring multi-function control side-by-side -side for your convenience with control for audio, voice command, cruise control as well as the most frequent use function in the vehicle. Behind the steering wheel you have the up and down pedal shifter so you can put it in manual mode for a more aggressive ride. And there you have the windshield wiper control. Over to the left you have the uh, light control as well as the turn signal light control. 
steering wheel does feature manual tilt and telescopic steering column. And a closer look at the instrument cluster. With a uh, large TFT screen in the middle. Steering wheel does feature a heated option. That's the driver side air vent with aluminum trims on it. There you have the trunk release as well as the instrument light controlled. And a closer look at the dash. It is wrapped in leather with beautiful wood trims on it. Now this particular model comes equipped with the uh, Meridian Surround Sound System that comes as a part of the Prestige Premium Package. The Meridian Surround Sound System features 17 loudspeakers including a subwoofer which pushes out 825 watts of beautifully balanced audio for both you and your passengers. Now looking at the center stack, you see that it is fully wrapped in leather with beautiful wood trims on it. Very premium looking. And here you have the large uh, touchscreen display. On the left you have the home menu button, parallel parking button, park assist on and off, power on and off, mode, audio, video, navigation and phone. Now the screen is fully touchscreen and it is very sensitive as you can see. Very nice sound quality. And here's the uh, look at the navigation system. Down here you have the uh, multimedia control, emergency has a light, and dual zone climate control. There's the uh, eco start and off, downhill assist, traction on and off, and the parking brake. Here in the uh, center console you have the gearbox. You just turn the knob to the right to get into reverse. And once you're in reverse, the uh, camera will appear on the multimedia screen with a uh, guided line for a much easier backup. And turn it once again for neutral and once again for drive. And push it down and over for sport. And that's when you can use the uh, steering wheel mounted paddle shifter to change gear. So very easy to use. And then you can uh, scroll it all the way to the left to get into park. And below the gearbox you have the uh, different driving mode. You can just press the uh, left or right arrow to change the uh, mode. There you have descend, mud and ruts, grass, gravels and snow, and special. Here you have dual cup holders, storage compartment, and a 12 volt power outlet. Center storage compartment. There you have the USB auxiliary input and another 12 volt power plug. Glove box compartment. And another look at the uh, passenger seat. It offers plenty of support as you can see. Okay, on top you have the uh, sunglasses holder. The one touch open and close sun blind. Very large panoramic roof. There you have the uh, rear view mirror with integrated three button universal garage door opener sun visor mirror with a card holder now let's take a look at the rear seat looks like rear seats offer seating for three and it does feature a split folded option you can fold it into a 60 or 40 split for more cargo space 
And here is the uh, rear driver side door panel. The rear windows are also automatic. And there's the uh, storage compartment. Now let's jump into the rear seat and see how it is in the back. But first let me show you the look to the front cabin. Very spacious cabin. And a look to the top with a beautiful sky view. Down here you have the uh, heated seat button for the rear passengers and storage compartment. Now I'm 5'8 and I have plenty of leg room left. So if you're taller than 5'8 you'll also be really comfortable in the back. And rear seats are very well padded. Here you have the center armrest with two cup holders as well as a more storage compartment. Here's the look to the back. Now headroom are pretty generous as well. Then you have the uh, clothes hanger and your light. Okay, so to fold down the rear seat, just press the button located on the uh, side of the rear seat to fold it down. There's one on uh, each uh, seat. So that's how it looks with the uh, seat folded. And now let's pop the trunk and see how much cargo space the trunk offer. So the trunk space in the Ranch Rover Evoque offer a very decent cargo space of 20.3 cubic feet of cargo space. That's with both rear seats up. And if you fold up, uh, both rear seats down, you get a maximum of 51 cubic feet of cargo space. And keep in mind that you can fold it in two different configurations for your convenience. There you also have the 12 volt power plug. And down here you have your spare tire and your tool. Now this little panel here, you can also remove it if you need to. One touch to close. And gas cap is located on the passenger side. It does require premium unleaded fuel only and holds approximately 18.5 gallons of fuel. Overall, the 2015 Ranch Rover Evoque is a compact luxury crossover SUV with sitting for five passengers. Rear seats have enough room for three adults and all three could fit comfortably in the back. Front cabins are very spacious as well, with great upholstery material, as well as nicely premium wood trims and silver aluminum trims throughout. And another look to the back. Now let's jump into the uh, front passenger seat and see how it is in the front. Very spacious. Alright guys, that is it for today's review. I hope you guys enjoyed the 2015 Ranch Rover Evoque. Go ahead and leave me a comment letting me know how you guys like it. And don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more future video review. And I'll see you guys next time. 